Hi guys, Kylie Backer coming to you live from my bedroom with another fantastic Wellness Wednesday. Now guys, uh, if you love my videos, please like, subscribe, share, um, share with someone that you think will benefit. We, Wellness Wednesday is all about you and how I can help you, um, you know, because over the last few years, you know, we've all experienced new challenges that have affected our physical, our mental, and our social well-being. Look, many of us are feeling stressed, we're tired, we're um, emotionally exhausted, we're feeling isolated, now we're feeling uncertain with all of these interest rate rises and electricity rises and financial pressures, and it can really play havoc with your health and your well-being and even allowing yourself time to self-care. So your wellness journey is more important than ever and you are in the driver's seat. So Wellness Wednesday is all about sharing with you guys health tips, DIY ideas, information that can help you to have the best version of you for 2022 and be happy and healthy. And I hope that you're loving this. If you are, please let me know in the comments. And if you have a question, pop it on down. All right. So over the last few weeks, we've been concentrating on your emotional health and well-being. Now we're starting with our body's natural energy centers, our energetic system. Now that's better known as your chakras. Now chakra means wheel or cycle. So I want you to think of this as your as your chakras, as your wheels of positive energy that spin in our bodies, creating balance, energy, uh, health and harmony. Okay. Um, there are seven main chakras situated along your spine uh, from the base or your tailbone all the way up to the top of your head, your crown. Uh, and each of these chakras uh, works on certain emotions, affects certain organs, and helps certain parts of your body to function at their best abilities. You know, so it's super important that we understand how these work. Uh, so they are also associated with colors and elements as well. Uh, now, I have a question for you, and I'd love to know in the comments, what color catches your eye first? Is it red, yellow, orange, green, blue, indigo, or purple? What catches your eye? Isn't these, these are just the cutest little things and they're so easy for you to take with you wherever you go. Okay, so what color? Let me know in the comments. Okay, um, last over the last three or four weeks, we've been going through these. We started with the red one. And if you're not sure, go back and watch my other Wednesdays, Wellness Wednesdays to find out. But red is your base or your root chakra. It's associated with the color red. Uh, it is, um, you'll find it at the base of your tailbone. Uh, and it is responsible for your feelings of safety, security, and shelter, which are the biggest and the uh, most important of the human emotions uh, and uh, if it is out if it is not balanced none of them are balanced and you're in turmoil physically emotionally mentally spiritually you're in big trouble this is like your body's warning system okay then there is your orange which is your sacral or your spleen chakra you find it below the navel and it is responsible for creativity self-worth sexuality uh, all of those really important things. Yellow is next, and that is your solar plexus, the sunshine to our souls. It is found in your stomach above the navel, but below the uh, chest, okay? And it is all about your confidence, your intellect, and your ego. Now we are up to the heart chakra, which is my favorite. So today we're doing the heart chakra. Now the heart chakra is associated with the air element in our bodies. And um, it is it has the most profound influence on our personal and our professional relationships. Um, associated with the color green, your heart chakra, if your heart chakra is blocked, weak, or fragile, then... It can absolutely ruin uh, your relationships with negative emotions like jealousy, insecurity, envy, anger, distrust, moodiness, and even wrath. You know, um, the heart chakra impacts our sense of touch 
and it is connected to several glands, including the lymph glands and the thymus glands, your heart and your circulatory system. Okay, so to balance your heart chakra, we recommend that you start using these amazing essential oils. Now, this is the loving and joyful blend. You can get it in your roll-on, which is already diluted in a massage oil, ready to pop straight on your skin. And you can also get it in a blend for your ultrasonic diffuser. Now, when you're using this in your roll-on, you want to roll it on your chest in the middle of your chest, above your heart, on your sternum. This is where your heart chakra energy is. And this will absolutely, not only does it smell amazing, you'll get an instant effect. And when you pop them on your skin, it only takes 30 seconds for essential oils to go through your skin and start working. Okay, now when you pop this into the diffuser, it's also amazing. It smells beautiful, but the emotional impact it has is fabulous. You know, this blend helps to lift you when you are feeling sad or lonely, isolated or invalidated. Super, super important. You know, it helps you to validate yourself and to connect better with your loved ones, uh, bringing harmony and cooperation to your home. Okay, so I'm finding this is fabulous for teenagers. Okay, anybody else out there, give me a hell yeah. Okay, now with a balanced heart chakra, you will be able to express yourself, love for yourself and others. You'll feel happy and content and grounded, calm, harmonious, um, just loving life. Okay, the essential oils that are in this blend that will help with that is eucalyptus, lavender, geranium, alang alang, bergamot, and rose. Okay, guys, so come back next week. We'll do the next chakra, which is this all important communication one the blue. Blue is your throat chakra. I hope you're enjoying these. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a great night, and I'll catch you later. Bye.